Hey everyone, I'm Chris with Cloud Campaign. Welcome to our 2021 end of year celebration. We're just getting set up and everybody invited into the uh, into the portal. So give us just a few moments while we begin. Thank you so much. Hey everyone, happy holidays. We're excited to get kicked off in just a moment. All right, <laughs> thanks for bearing with us through some of those technical difficulties. Um, just want to give you a heads up, Ryan, that uh, we can't hear you just yet. Uh, uh, I can hear you, Ryan. Can you hear me? And I can we hear, you. hear you either, Ross. So we'll work through that too, real quick. Um, Ross, I'm able to hear you. I don't know. Caroline can hear everyone. <laughs> it might be a setting on uh, on Chris's end, but yeah, we're just waiting for a few more minutes for folks to pile in. But while we're waiting, go ahead and share in the chat where you're calling in from. Could either be where you live normally or where you're traveling for the holidays. Yeah. <clears throat> Technology is always fun. Trying <laughs> to uh, get all these systems cooperate never really goes as planned. Right. Oh, there we go. A couple of folks from New Jersey. Yeah. Ross, I was thinking back. The last time we did this, I think, was 2018. Is that right? It's been a while. Yeah, a lot has a lot has changed uh, since then. I think you were in San Francisco still at the time. Right. Baltimore, Wisconsin, Texas. It's awesome to see the you know folks coming from all over. As always, mm -hmm. it's one of the benefits, I guess, of a virtual event is it makes it so easy to join. Lucas, go Packers. <laughs> I'm sure I just upset 90% of the people in this chat. Right. Alabama, Tennessee. Sorry, guys. I don't know if you can hear me real quick. I'm working on After we got your audio working, my audio <laughs> decided that it did not have to work. Go Bears, Damien. I like it. <laughs> um. Wow. Cool. I think everybody's kind of, and <laughs> <laughs> I know the new quarterback didn't work out as, as well as I was kind of hoping he would. I like, I like fields. Chris, are you, um, can you hear us now? I, I think Chris is going to be controlling the, the presentation. So maybe while Chris gets that situated, Ross, what's your, what are your holiday traditions? What do you like to do as a family? 
It's a, it's a good question. Um, so I, we have weird traditions. I'm like from a half Jewish, half Christian family. So I don't know that we landed on, on any good spot. We, uh, we had a Christmas pinata every year, which was a very strange thing that I don't know how that happened, but it became a tradition. So that's what about you? What's, what's in the pinata? Is it candy or something else? Candy and random toys. Let's see. It's a very strange thing. Okay. Yeah. What about you? Growing up, we would always make cream tuna. I don't know if anyone else has like heard of that or if that's even a thing, but just like canned tuna, put some milk into it, turn it into cream and put it on toast. It sounds terrible, but it's really good. It does sound terrible. <laughs> but that was that was the Christmas tradition there. Oh, that's cool to know, Damien. So yeah, maybe maybe that my other half of my family is you know, Portuguese. It's not uh, I don't know, maybe it's something they picked up too. Let's see. Uh, what's going on, Chris? Thanks for hopping in here. Chris from 98 Buck Social. Awesome. Well, yeah, let's see if we can kick it off here. Um, I'm not sure if Chris Browning is able to, to take controls here. If not, I can go ahead and just share my screen. Um, unfortunately, I'm traveling, so I don't have a, you know all the nice monitors that I wish I had. So bear with me for a second while I probably share the wrong tab. Okay, let's dive into it. Well, yeah, thanks again, everyone, so much for taking the time to join us today. Um, you know, it's been a it's been a few years since we've done one of these, but it's a really fun way to kind of wrap up the year, share you know what we've accomplished as as a community, and also share some of the interesting things that we have planned for the upcoming year. Um, we'll save that for the very end, but we'll start with kind of a, a brief run through history here and um, I also have my co-founder Ross on the call most of you probably know Ross uh, probably better than you know me but um, yeah Ross I don't know if you want to say a quick hello and dive into it yeah no I just want to thank everybody for for joining here and um, you know a big goal of ours here is to really strengthen the the community that we've built so over the last couple of years there's obviously quite a bit more of you and um, we're hoping to really make it feel like a community here so coming to things like this um yeah we really appreciate it and hopefully we'll do a lot more fun things in the in the new year awesome oh well, yeah let's dive into it so kicking us off again just kind of a brief run through history uh, we founded the company back in 2017 since then in 2018 we landed our first agency customer which you know back at that time that was such an exciting moment we're now adding i think it's around like 250 customers a month so We've grown quite a bit since then. Uh, 2019, we made our first hire. So in the early days, it was just myself and Ross. And then we brought on our first hire, Andrew, back in August of 2019. We, we raised a small angel round. Uh, 2020, we raised the seed round and Ross got shingles. <laughs> I blame some of you for that. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> and then just this past year, we raised a, a $5 million Series A round. Um, really focused on expanding the product and we'll have some exciting uh, some exciting news to share in terms of what direction we're going in and what product enhancements you should expect to see in 2022. Yeah, so just kind of talking through through where we are now and you know what's what's happened since 2017. So we now have about 14,600 users in the system. Um, and we're they're managing 45,000 social media accounts. So y'all are very active, which is great to see. Um, you've created 2.7 million unique pieces of content, which are currently stored in the system. Uh, and you're scheduling 4.2 million posts per year. Uh, so definitely an active, active crew and, um, yeah, we'd love to see it. Uh, yeah, I'll guess a few more stats just from, just from 2021. So this year we've had over 6,000 zoom meetings. So I'm sure everybody loves zoom still, and no one's getting sick of zoom. Meetings, right? <laughs> right. Not, not burnt out at all. It's not only... burnt out at all. Yes. Yeah, still yeah, very fun. Was... I remember when the pandemic first started and we were like, let's do fun zoom games. And now <laughs> those, those don't happen as much as they used to. Uh, 292,000 Slack messages sent, um, and 22 major feature releases that Ryan will talk through. 
Yeah, so diving into the specific feature releases, it's pretty crazy thinking back to January 21 and what we've been able to release since then. There's been some major enhancements to the product that we now mostly just take for granted. But, you know, at the start of the year, we didn't have Facebook or Instagram ad reporting. So there was no media analytics. We didn't have direct Instagram publishing. Since then, we are super thankful to have a built a relationship with Instagram and have access to the API for both images and video direct publishing. Um, we didn't have a mobile dashboard or mobile version of our dashboard, I'd say. We added a Pinterest integration throughout this past year. We had the ability to schedule to any social media platform via push notifications. We added quite a bit in terms of uh, organic reporting and different metrics you can report on and show your clients. And then towards the tail end of the year, we just released Cloud Connect, which if you haven't used it yet, it's an awesome feature. It allows you to send a link to your clients, a tokenized link, where they can then link up their own social media accounts. So you don't even need to worry about, do you have the right admin access on Facebook? Do they give you your password? Uh, they can just go ahead and connect their own social media account and it'll automatically throw it into the, the correct workspace for you. Um, definitely worth noting too, a lot of the feature highlights and, and things that have been added are directly from suggestions from all of you. I mean, it really helps us build a product that, that serves our target audience, which is marketing agencies. Um, so definitely keep that, that feedback coming. And I think you'll see that reflected on, on kind of where we hope to go in the near future and, and what's to come. Uh, one thing that I wanted to talk through is the referral program and honestly just say thank you for, for really growing that with us in 2021. Honestly, it's, it's been amazing to see. Um, I think this year we've Ryan on the next one, it kind of talks about so far. Um, uh, yeah, in the, in the past about 11 months, we've paid out $33,000 to our referral partners. Um, so again, it's, it's really amazing and, and much appreciated here. So if you have any questions about that, you should see the options to join in your dashboard. And again, we, we really do appreciate it. Yeah, I do want to call out, I don't know if a new Camaro has cost 33,000, maybe one that's like <laughs> salvage title or, or a, quite a bit used. There you go. <laughs> cool. So moving on to um, kind of where we're at today and, and what we're thinking about moving forward. So we have, we're, we're putting together a cloud cohort, which essentially will give you first access to any new features. Um, it's a way to connect directly with our team and give feedback and really be on kind of the bleeding edge of what we're working on and all the new features and products that we're going to be pushing out over this next year. We'll send an email out after this webinar to everyone who attended, uh, giving them an, giving you an invite to, to join this community. Um, as Ross mentioned, you know, a lot of our product features come from feedback from y'all. So if you haven't taken a look yet, we do have a public product roadmap where you can suggest new features. Uh, the URL for that is just roadmap.cloudcampaign.io. And in just a moment, we'll be touching on some upcoming initiatives for 2022. Um, cool. So we do want to just highlight a, a few just awards here and, and you know, customers that are, or agencies we work with that are <laughs> really just crushing it and uh, just have some incredible numbers. So yeah, we thought we'd, we'd hand out a few awards. Um, you wanna, I guess I can take the first one. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, so the first one is Moster Poster. Shout out to Chris Browning there for, I think he came up with that title. <laughs> which is pretty funny. Uh, so this is the customer who's published the most social media posts through cloud campaign um, over the past year. And this person published, I'm pulling up my numbers here, over 414,000 social media posts um, in the past year alone. Um, also, you know, they work with like 2000 clients. So this tends to make sense. And this award goes to Chris from 98 bucks social. Um, who we've been working with for a few years now, and um, they've helped us so much over the years. So we love working with them. And um, yeah, shout out to you, Chris. That's crazy. 414,000 posts. That is insane. Yeah. I mean, I think also shout out to the entire team at 98 Buck Social. It's obviously a, it takes a village, right? To be able to publish that many posts and manage that many clients. 
So uh, shout out to y'all. And hey, once the uh, once COVID's died down a little bit, I think we need to make a trip out to Florida to go visit Chris and the team because that sounds a lot better than the snow we're getting in Colorado right now. I, I agree. I agree. <laughs> awesome. Well, the next award is for our long timer. It's the customer that has been partnered with us the longest. Um, so this customer has been with us for three years and 295 days coming up on four years in March. And the award goes to Laura and Mandy from Barker Social. Congrats, y'all. Definitely appreciate the, the partnership from the early days. They've uh, they've put up with a lot. I'll just say that much. <laughs> I think uh, four years ago, I was the only one writing code, and there were a lot of bugs and a lot of issues that uh, Mandy and the team put up with, and they helped us work through it, stuck with us this entire time. And yeah, they've just been a great partner for us. Yeah. And same thing. They've helped shape a lot of the features and um, helped give us a lot of direction in those early years. So much appreciated. Uh, so the last award that we're going to do here is the Content Conjurer. Again, Chris, these names are amazing. Uh, this customer created the most content. Um, and I'm pulling up the number here. So this person created 577,000 posts. Uh, so unique pieces of content over the past uh, over the past year. And that goes to Julie from Socially Inclined. So. Yes, Julie, I don't know how you do it, but that is incredible. 577,000 posts in one year. That's insane. I wish <laughs> I was better at math because I'll tell you how many that was per day, but I, it's a lot. I'll it's just a say lot that. per it's day. A lot. It's a lot yeah. per day. Busy, busy, Julie says, which is definitely, yeah, I, I don't doubt that. <laughs> That's awesome. And, you know, in the, the famous words of Steve Jobs, one more thing. <laughs> I tried to get Ryan to wear a black turtleneck, but apparently didn't have one. <laughs> it's the problem of traveling again for the holidays. So this is one of the big things that we've been working on uh, over the past few months. And honestly, one of the reasons why we raised our Series A round in May is to build more products, more features for you, our customers. And one thing that we've heard kind of time and time again is our, our customers, our agencies are really looking for a hub to run their businesses. And so that's exactly what we're building in 2022 and hope to have an early MVP um, for anyone that wants early access early this year in the next quarter or two. And to give you an idea of what this might look like, so it's following a lot of the same design that you already see within Cloud Campaign, but giving you the ability to have a dashboard, an agency hub to manage all of your clients and your team within one, one place. Um, at the high level, you can see, you know, of course, how many clients you're currently working with. You can see clients that you're uh, currently sending proposals to or prospecting. And then you can also see which different tools you need for each client. And so this is going to be, you know, a way for you to manage all of your clients, but also manage all the different tasks and products needed for any given client. So in this case, you can see here at the very bottom, we have the different products that are turned on or enabled for this one given client. You can see which client users have access to that dashboard. You can see which team members internally have access to that dashboard. Again, you can manage all your clients through it. And then you can also track when your payments are due and whether or not it's been paid on time. Uh, we've heard time and time again that one of the most difficult parts of running an agency with a lot of clients is just knowing who's up to date, uh, what your clients have actually paid you on time. I think we all know that uh, you know, the end clients can be a, a bit tricky sometimes when it comes to accounts payable. And so hopefully this makes it a lot easier to know uh, when clients are up to date and for you to just run your business and honestly focus more on the exciting aspect, which is the, the creative. But we want to play a quick game. So we want folks to guess what you think the monthly cost is going to be for this new product. You can just put it in the chat down there. We'll read through them. Chris guess free, Ross guessed a million dollars. Okay. Just I, I'd say those are, yeah, that's the lower bound and the upper bound. <laughs> Johnny said 0.00. .00. Wow. A lot of zeros. <laughs> 250, that's a good guess. I mean, it does a lot, right? Like you can run your entire business through it, ideally, and it links out to all the different tools that you can do, like label dashboard. 
So a few of you are correct. It's going to be free and forever with unlimited users and clients. This is something that we really want to offer to the community and make it easier, honestly, just for you to run your business. The way we see it is if you grow your agency, that's going to help us grow in the long run. And we just want to partner with, with agencies that, you know, are looking to, to grow their business and run it more effectively and use our social media management tool more like the social media management tool is really our bread and butter. And we see this as a great way to help you just run your business more effectively. So you can think about more the creative aspect of it and the part of running an agency. That's, that's just more fun. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you've seen this in our signatures and, you know, on our, on our email, but, but kind of what we try to live by here is, and it's super corny, but you know, we, we help agency scale, right? Like that's our, that's our goal. And that's the big hope with, with this as well, which is a big reason we wanted to make it free. And Chris, you're, you win nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you get, you get free stuff. That's true. Yeah. So moving on from that, we did want to open it up for questions, um, either about the new products that we're working on or, you know, any, any random fun questions you have for the team. Um, but Chris, I do think you actually do get some swag as part of the, uh, as the award earlier. So yeah. You'll get, you'll get a handful of these without all the random stickers on it. It'll just be the <laughs> campaign logo. Yeah, any questions? <laughs> what, what do you have to do to get the random stickers? You got to travel. That's that's the trick. Uh, this one's from Boulder. So if you come visit our Boulder office, I can hook you up with that. This one's from Santa Barbara. And this one's from Hawaii, from Holly Leva. I think Chris just wants your water bottle. That's fair. Like your specific water bottle. <laughs> I, don't know if that's, I don't know if that's COVID friendly, if I'm being honest. <laughs> that's fair. Jennifer uh, asked who's replacing Maddie and said, we'll miss her. Uh, we are absolutely going to miss Maddie. Maddie has been an integral part of the team, um, has just been such an amazing attitude. And um, yeah, I, I know that that all of you will miss her and we'll miss her too. And um, yeah, we're bringing on some new team members that are going to be awesome as well, but we'll, we'll definitely miss Maddie. Richard asks, can I read more about the new products? Yes, we haven't publicly announced it yet, though. So this is kind of our first public announcement through this this webinar celebration. Um, once we have some material published, that's going to go out there. Probably not for a couple of months, to be honest, just because we're kind of keeping it low key. Um, but once we have some more information, we're happy to share it with you. You can always reach out to me directly if you want. And I'm happy to, to have another conversation offline talking about some of the features that we're going to have. But my email is rborn at cloudcampaign.io. Um, Dennis asked, will you be integrating with high level or is their offering going to be competitive? It's a good question. Um, we know high level pretty well. They're actually, you know, uh, I'm out here in our uh, Oregon office. And so they're just down in Salem, not too far away. So yeah, we're going to reach out to them and um, continue to talk with them. But we've, we've worked pretty closely with them. So we'll see. Um, Damien has a good question, which is what are we doing to compete with other, uh, with others like Hootsuite to differentiate yourselves and become more competitive? It's a great question. I mean, one thing to, to note is, you know, the social media management is still our bread and butter, and that's where we're going to focus most of our engineering resources. Uh, we are working on these new products kind of on the side to help agencies out, but we're still continuing to innovate with our, our core product. Um, you know, there's a handful of different things that we have slated for the next two quarters in terms of, uh, you know, one is, is just new integration. So TikTok, for example, as new platforms come out, we're constantly trying to integrate them into our platform to make it easier for you to publish to the different platforms. Um, and I think we can also go quite a bit deeper on data and analytics, uh, things that Hootsuite honestly isn't able to do just given the scale of, of clients that they have today and uh, kind of the distribution of clients. And so that's another area where we're hoping to, to stay competitive in the marketplace. Yeah. Chris, Chris asked who we need to threaten at Facebook to not let connections <laughs> expire. I don't have a good answer to that one, unfortunately. Um, let's see. So Ryan, I think this one you'll be well suited to answer, but, uh, will the billing update feature allow us to bill subscriptions through CCAV, Stripe or other processors? 
It's a great question. Yeah, Lucas, I'm glad your head's there because we're, we're thinking the exact same thing. So initially, it's going to give you the ability to track when the bills are due and track whether or not they've been paid. Uh, in the not too distant future, the goal is to have invoicing directly built into Cloud Campaign. So one, that's going to give you the ability to invoice your current clients today, uh, hopefully automate a lot of that process and make it very easy to, to get paid on time. But the other thing that's really interesting is it's going to enable this new DIY SaaS model where you can actually host a sign up form on your website. Clients can then, you know, sign up for their own SaaS subscription through your website and start to pay you monthly just to access our product that's completely white labeled for you. Our goal is to help our agencies become software companies if you want to, right? Like you can build this hybrid approach where for your top tier customers, you provide full services for anyone else that's maybe paying you 50 bucks a month. You can have them just get access to the platform and turn it into a recurring SaaS business for yourself. Yeah. And again, the nice thing is it's all going to be integrated in one place. So if you're, you know, managing hundreds, if not thousands of clients, or even, you know, just tens of clients, as you're working on them, you can see who's up to date, who's paid, who's not, so that your team's not working on services for somebody who might be um, unpaid. I, I like Chris's note there. Who tweeted <laughs> the equivalent of the VCR of social media? I'm, I'm not going to make a comment here, but that's uh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> um, Lucas, will you be adding more emojis into the caption editor? A couple of requests for missing emojis. Um, yes, yeah. So again, you know, these are definitely areas that will continue to update. I think a lot of it is is on our roadmap, and you know, as our team's growing, we have a lot of open engineering roles right now that we're going to continue to fill and have already been growing the engineering team. We'll continue to expand on things like that. Another great question from Lucas, which is, are, are we going to be opening up the API more broadly for more integrations? And the answer is yes. Um, we have a handful of Zapier integrations and hooks that we already have planned out. Um, if there are other integrations that you'd like to see, definitely let us know. You can just add it to the, the public roadmap and we'll move that into kind of our private backlog where we're working on these different tickets. Yeah. Um, let's see, Marcus, will the presentation be available afterwards? Yeah, Chris Browning, I think uh, you're planning on sending a, a recap to everybody in here, right? Yep. Cool. Yep, this will go out to everybody if you missed it. Perfect. Yeah, and uh, along with, uh, Ryan mentioned it a bit earlier, but um, you know, the, we'll, we'll also be inviting everybody here to kind of become part of that um, cloud cohort. I can't remember <laughs> the name of it now. I had COVID not too long ago. I still have COVID brain, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be sending out an invite to that as well. A couple of other good product questions here. So Stephanie, uh, any chance we can have the ability to copy and paste content across brands? We hear you. Uh, we definitely agree that that would be an awesome addition. I think both being able to create content across multiple workspaces in the first place, much easier. And then the ability to, to copy and paste across brands. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's something that's planned. I don't have an exact timeline for that one, unfortunately, but it is something that we plan on building. Um, and I think it goes back to one of the earlier questions, which is how do we differentiate ourselves from Hootsuite and the other players in the space? And I think it's, we really focus on who our target customers are and, and build for this multi-brand management paradigm, which is something that Hootsuite isn't doing. Uh, another product question from Richard, will there be a feature to help boost posts? Yes, I think this is a bit further out on the horizon, unfortunately, but it is something that we're planning on on moving into is, is giving you a really easy way to boost your top posts uh, on Facebook and Instagram. There is a workaround though. So if you go to your activity feed, you can already sort it by your most engaging content for your client. And then you can click on the date on that activity feed and it'll take you directly to the post on Facebook or Instagram. And from there, you can just click the boost button on the platform itself and it makes it pretty pretty quick and easy. Uh, but we do want to eventually build that into the platform. Okay. Any other questions here? Oh. Um, yeah, Damien, that's a great point, which is just basically right. Every social media platform has very specific limitations with things like character counts or even video 
dimensions or whatever it might be. So having more warnings in the system uh, is definitely something that we want to add. And um, they're changing like every five days. So we'll have to monitor those pretty closely once we do add them. But uh, but yes, absolutely something that we're hoping to add in the actually pretty near future on that one. And there is platform specific captions in the meantime where you can you know write the initial general caption and then turn on platform specific captions. So it'll populate it across all the different platform tabs and you can go to each tab and make adjustments accordingly if it needs to be less characters or more characters um, pretty much exactly what you what you want it to look like and then something we're actually working on actively is called pixel perfect preview or p p cubed as we're calling it internally and that will allow you to see exactly what that post is going to look like when it gets published to the different platforms and make adjustments in real time uh, that way there's no surprises when the post actually goes out yep yeah, I totally misread that. We actually do have that feature right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we just built it. Right? Yes, we did. we're that quick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> mostly, mostly Caroline. <laughs> Any copy.ai or other tools to help with caption generation without leaving your platform? Uh, Dennis, can you expand more on that? I'm curious what you're thinking. Because we do have a natural language processing engine on the back end that will read through articles that come from the auto importer and it will automatically generate captions for you. But there isn't necessarily like a button to do it in real time. Is that what you're looking for? Direct integration. So there's nothing on the roadmap for a direct integration with copy AI specifically. Um, but again, we do have that NLP engine on the back end already. And so if it's a matter of automatically generating captions via a click of a button um, for articles or different kind of media sources, that's something that we could definitely look into. And I honestly don't think it'd be a big lift for it. Uh, the back end language, it's called natural language processing or natural language parsing, NLP. It's a style of machine learning that essentially is able to analyze text and make reason out of it. Um, but yeah, that happens within our auto import feature. So if you have an auto import from an RSS feed, when it pulls in the new articles, uh, if you have the checkbox enabled, it will automatically generate anywhere from three to five captions for you automatically. Does the RSS feed integration now pull in videos and images and content for posting now or just content? Uh, another great question. So if you do want to pull in media from the auto importer, you can connect it to Google Drive and then just choose the folder that you want to pull into that client's workspace and it'll automatically pull in any new images or videos that are added to the folder. Right now, the RSS feed specifically is designed for articles and like blog posts. So it's just going to pull in a link to that content and not the actual media itself. All right. Well, I think it's a, a good time to wrap it up. Thanks everyone so much for joining. This was a, a lot of fun and, you know, looking forward to doing it again next year. Um, yeah. I guess Can we get Julie's quick, question this yeah, season. We, we won't leave you hanging, Julie. <laughs> um, yeah. So. <laughs> You're good. We we don't have a, a near term plan to add Dropbox and OneDrive to Auto Importer, um, but we've talked about adding it just directly to the content creation. <laughs> I don't, water, watermarking, I'll say it. Um, no, but we do have plans to add it to the the content creation workflow. So when you're choosing where to get your images from, right now it's either upload content or do stock photos. Um, we, we do have a plan to add in Dropbox, OneDrive, and all sorts of other integrations uh, through kind of a third-party upload tool that we're looking at. Cool. Yeah, thanks again, everybody. And um, yeah, we're really excited about uh, 2021 and continuing to, to work with all of you. All right, well, thanks so much. Have a good holidays, everyone. Bye, everybody.